and then out of the fog, boom, appears a car. All right, so incredibly, incredibly thick right here. It's kind of a low point in the road, and there are people walking right there. Oh my gosh. What is going on, everybody? As you can hopefully see, it is pretty foggy today, so I figure it would be a great time to test out autopilot. Now, the interesting thing about fog and cameras is it's not as bad when you look at it through a camera, usually. So if I just take a look at my GoPro here, uh, I can actually see a lot farther looking through the viewfinder of the GoPro. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let's take some clips from the Tesla cameras and we can compare those to what we're really seeing. So I'm gonna just click that. So I've saved some footage from Tesla's uh, dash cam and now we can compare that to what I see. Now, you can't see exactly what I see. You can only see what the camera shows you. I can tell you just from experience and from looking at this camera right now live that the cameras are seeing a lot farther in the fog than we are. Wow, so coming up to this part, uh, I really can't see, I don't know, I would say past 20 feet or so, maybe 30 feet. It is just so dense. Uh, and I'm gonna, let me look through the camera again. And yeah, again, the camera now, the camera is obstructed up there, but it's way farther ahead than what I am seeing with my own eyes. Wow, it's just so dense. My biggest fear is uh, deer in this, I didn't want that to rhyme. In this uh, scenario, I'm not too worried about cars. There are not many cars around. And usually you can see them uh, sooner than you'd think. You know, the fog's a little deceptive and how limited it, it makes your vision. Um, but deer's hopping out of nowhere. I'll have a hard time stopping for them. Uh, so I, I usually go pretty slow when it's like this. And there are people walking right there. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but I couldn't see them until I said that. Um, so that'll be a pretty good indication for you of my vision versus the camera's vision. Wow, I would not, do not, don't walk in the fog like that. Uh, it's probably not, not really worth it. Wow, okay, it's, <laughs> oh geez. Okay, I was just about to turn and then out of the fog, boom, appears a car. So that's pretty scary and it keeps happening, like to my right. Oh my gosh, no this is ridiculous. I was just, this road normally doesn't have like any cars on it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Full acceleration, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that was a little creepy. Okay, so we're just gonna turn autopilot on, which shouldn't have any trouble. I do see a car. I can barely, barely see that car up there. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but wow, that left turn, I normally don't see any cars, zero every day. And twice I almost turned out and it would have been really bad, but I saw them at the last second because of their headlights. So the Model 3 does have fog lights. You can see right here that they're turned on um, by that symbol. I always have them on. Um, I know I've heard some people say that where they live, that's illegal. You can only have your fog lights on um, when it's necessary, but you know, America, it's, it's pretty free. So here's the back camera. Um, it's a little muddy, but I can tell from looking in there again, the camera's seeing really far, a lot farther than I'm seeing. Um, so with that information, along with the radar uh, that the car is using to look around, I feel pretty confident, like, I mean, my car's doing perfectly braking for these people. Um, I feel pretty confident using autopilot in these situations, especially, you know, it's a driver assist. It's not full self-driving yet. So especially as a driver assist to kind of help you in these situations and do some of the driving and help keep you safe, it's, it's really, really good for that. Uh, and I think really any car with adaptive cruise control and the auto emergency braking and things like that, it's a huge benefit for anybody driving, you know, in these kind of conditions. Not that, you know, you see this super thick fog all that often, but it only takes one time to crash a car. And if you have some features on your car that can help prevent that, then that is all good. All right, so incredibly, incredibly thick right here. It's kind of a low point in the road. So let's save that footage as well. Um, and we can look back on that. So yeah, I'm just seeing these, these headlights kind of appear out of the fog. And I wonder if the car will pick up now that it, yeah, so it picks up traffic in the other direction. And now that it does that, you know, it's still picking those up. 
Uh, so that's, that's good news. The cameras are of course affected, but not nearly to the extent that the human eye is. Uh, and it's kind of the same thing actually when it's raining really hard and you're having a hard time seeing through the windshield or whatever. If you ever look at that same scene through a camera, it sees almost right through that water. Uh, and so that's how autopilot can work pretty good in the rain too. I mean, we've had you know some issues I've talked about before where it's turning off, um, but the cameras are still seeing better than what we can see. So you can see all that, well, let me see, I don't know what you can see here. So that far lane, all that traffic is so backed up. Um, there is construction over there, but it's not normally like that. So again, people are having trouble dealing with this fog. I mean, I can't see very far at all. I'm looking down there, I can see, if I count the cars, maybe 10, 12 cars. I can see 12 cars in that direction and that's it. And then the other direction, I just, <laughs> the other direction, I just see them like appearing out of the mist, just like magically cars are appearing. Um, so we don't have any traffic here. So on these side streets, um, I think actually this, since it's a divided highway, autopilot is technically um, suited for this task. Um, you can't use navigate on autopilot here, but since it's divided, if I'm remembering correctly, divided highways are also a use case, you know, that Tesla recommends for autopilot. There are traffic lights here, um, but not very many. And as long as you're paying attention, like you're supposed to be anyway, no big deal. And you can set the speed limit when it's divided, whatever you want. So you can see it's 55, but I can go 10 over if I want. Whereas on a non-divided road, if you turn autopilot on, you can only go five over. So fog is still pretty thick. Let's get on the highway, try some autopilot there, see how it does for a little bit. And I think that'll be plenty of proof that uh, autopilot is more than ready to handle this type of weather. All right, so here we are, turning it on and car's getting over like it should. <laughs> it always gets a little confused with the lines there. Uh, I'm gonna cancel that just because it's not a challenge, and that's what I would normally do. Uh, there's some cars over there, and I really don't need to get over. We are on the average lane change setting here. But uh, again, the fog is still pretty thick. Uh, there's a little bit of rain on the windshield, and the auto wipers are not doing anything, which is fine. I mean, I can see fine for now. Um, and autopilot really has no problem. So I don't think this will be all too exciting, which is really a good thing. You know, it's funny as autopilot gets better, the videos will be cool. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this, you know, if you watch my videos a lot or me, I'm, I'm kind of used to it. But like, if you really stop and think about it for a second, this car is like driving itself right now and doing a really good job. And it's just like, it's amazing that that's kind of a normal thing now, you know, if you think about it. So it's going to want to change lanes, which I'll let it do that. And okay, so no problem with that. But as autopilot keeps getting updates, the videos will be a little less exciting because the car's not gonna be doing crazy stuff, but they'll still be really cool, really interesting. Uh, it's just, it's pretty fascinating that, you know, this system exists and it's just getting better every day. Oh, we got a mystery car here. That thing is really wrapped up. Uh, I do see an exhaust though, so it's not electric. And it look, looks like a GM car. But I uh, see those a lot around this area. A lot of uh, new cars that are under wraps being driven around. All right, well, I think that is plenty to prove that autopilot has no problem in the fog. Works great, uh, even better than a person, I would say. Uh, but again, person combined with autopilot is like the ultimate uh, way to drive. It's a lot safer to have all the cameras are on the car, the radar, along with you supervising the car. So comment below, let me know what you think. Would you use autopilot in the fog? I mean, I would prefer it over just myself. Um, but thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.